Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to share with you my social media calendar template. So this will fast track or this will make you organized when it comes to social media posting. So as a freelancer, you can offer this to your client. And if you are a business owner, you can definitely use this as well. So let's get started. So right now, what I'm showing you is this um, social media calendar worksheet or template. So basically, uh, this is actually um, adjusted or I have actually um, devised this or have set this up for my digital marketing um, company. So here you can see the... Uh, Publish date, content type, and many more. So this will actually make your life easier. So I will go over this one by one. So first up, the publish date. So it's definitely important. So you can schedule this ahead. So for example, if I want to schedule on, on April 25, so just gonna type in April 25, 2024. All right, so that's Monday. So the content type, so you can definitely change these content types here. So as I said, I have customized this for my own content type. So if you had, if you have a lot of content types, so you can just uh, customize this or modify. So what I will do is just to click on here and then click on data and then data validation. So if your niche is all about um, so this is all about um, what do you call this medical or something like not related to digital marketing. Well, that's okay. It's because you can you can update this into the type of niche that you are currently in. So on, on my end, I won't change the change this. It's because uh, this actually fits my business. So I'm just gonna save this. So topic title. So here you can, well, you can fill this up based on the topic or title that you want to post on social media. So here I have typed in how to do keyword research since that, that's the title or topic that I want to share on my social media channel. So content details, so this is how I do, uh, this is how you do keyword research. So I have, I have already specified this. So let me add up. So as you know, keyword research is a very important task for an SEO uh, professional. This is one of the initial things that initial uh, tasks that an SEO professional will perform before taking before the kickoff of a client website. So it's something like that. You can you can definitely modify this one according to your likes or according to what you want. Alright. So definitely I'm gonna post this on Facebook. So I'm just gonna choose Facebook so for the post type so you can uh, you can again change this so there are a lot of social networks available so not only Facebook Twitter Instagram YouTube and Pinterest there's also LinkedIn so you can use that so for the post type um, I'll use this as a I'll definitely choose a regular post so the content type is actually it's not well I've been posting videos so it's definitely video so as you can see, I have posted how to do keyword research video on my group. So feel free to share it as well. So if ever it's a photo, well, that's, uh, it doesn't matter. So for example, if it's a photo, um, I will just use, I will definitely upload a photo here, the asset side. So for this copy, you can just, uh, yeah, you can just get this, worksheet 
for free because I, I'll be giving this worksheet for free to everyone. To asset, just gonna use pexels.com. This is my go-to image resource and I'm just gonna place, I'm just gonna search on social media so anything that's related to social media for example this one is perfect just gonna copy this and then um, paste I'm just gonna resize first so it will fit this end that's it so link I'm gonna use the link that I have had rankyourlinks.com Ever research made easy. So don't forget this one. Alright, so email research made easy. Shorten track link so you can use Bitly or anything uh, to shorten your link so you can track how many clicks. Alright, so since I have um, analytics on each of my web pages so I don't think I need it I need shortened track links for now so publishing time so you can um, you can well this is just typically or literally the publishing time if you want to publish it on your morning time or 8 a.m. doesn't matter for as long as you have a publishing time it's all good so for approval so if you're a freelancer working for a client, you will have to state the name of your client here for approval. So on my end, since I have a VA, well, first I have to um, I will have to put my name here and the name of my project manager. So if ever the link is live, I'm just gonna copy paste the link here, and you are all good. All right. So this is how you use my social media or sheet or template so I'm gonna give you a copy of this at the description part of my video so thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video join the group digital marketing tips by Froyland and see you on my next video